In this video we're going to make some ginger beer with some chilli to give it a kick. Hello, welcome to our ginger brewers brewing ginger beer. We thought we'd better add, people keep saying you're ginger brewers, why aren't you brewing ginger ale? Ginger brewers, ginger ale. Ginger beer. So first of all, Dan, uh, I bought some chilies from the shop. It does say two Scotch bonnet chilies, but we don't know how how good these are, how strong they are. So I'm going to say to Dan, shall we bite a bit? I'm going to bite mine in half. What? And, and swallow it all? Well, chew it around a bit first. <laughs> okay. You're better. You're better with heat than I am. Am I? You love your curries. Ready? Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't a lot of it? Yeah. You skipped the ginger, did you? The chili. Yeah. Who's that? It's a bit of 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 a Second one? No, you love that one. I'm just dipping my lips in it. Ah. So we actually found out they've had these spicy chilies. Is your mouth not killing? Yeah, should we pause that a minute? <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, we're just going to A&E. We'll be back later on. My lips are swelling up. So Chopped it up into about, uh, chunks of about an inch. Um, we got about eight to ten inches worth of with ginger. I added a bit of water and put it into the, the sort of liquidizer. I'm just going to give it a blast. I've, we've cleaned it and we've actually uh, chopped chopped it in bits of area just to try and clean it up a bit. Give it a quick, quick wash. And now I'm just going to give it a blast. Okay, give it a quick blast. So now we have Chopped up, so look at the consistency there. I haven't gone too far and liquidized it into a pulp, but it is in small chunks. Um, and the water helps me to uh, helps the, the chopping process. I'm just gonna grab this now and throw it into a kettle. There we go, and the kettle. And do the same again, just like that. Taste one of the ginger. It smells beautiful. Yeah. So you can see, chop some more into the pot, into the kettle. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, get some of the juice of the, the lemons. So we've got four lemons. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is easy. I'm going to take over a little bit. I'm back. Right, so. Okay. Don't do this at kids' homes. Be careful with knives. You got a fork there, Dan? Uh, what got? Uh, it's a big. Do you want a, a kid's fork? A bigger fork. But not the kid's fork one again, we've done that in uh, It's uh, a little trick for everyone. If you haven't got a juicer, you've got a fork and a lemon, whack the fork in and we're going around and get loads of juice out. So this is the next challenge to eat the, the raw lemons. Oh, I prefer that to a chili, I tell you. <laughs> chicken juicy lemon. That lemon, we got that from Whitchurch High Street. A really good fruit and veg shop called Birds. If you need fruit and veg in the Cardiff area, go see Mario. Oh. Is that where the chilli from as well? Yeah. Okay. I did a 
boil, we need to cool it down. We're going to cool it down by putting it in the sink with some cold water. Simple. Uh, Dan, I don't interrupt, but um, you've oh, had a second thought. Yes. Second thought? Yeah. The brewers coming out to me and realised we should sterilise everything as much as we can because we're using the same yeast, the same sort of sugar, and the same chances of catching bugs. We've got to sterilise the bottles as well, don't we? So when you sterilise it, the, the trick is, is to not do it. And just make sure you, every surface gets a good bang in a liquid. And see if you go around. Okay. And just leave it set in there, fizz away. That's what you get after two beers. Two, two beers of 4%. <laughs> I think it was the chili. Uh, yeah. So we've got a... 29, yeah. 28. What we're going to do is put a little bit, probably 20% of this, 25%. There we go. Put your in. Yeah. And... We've, we've men, and what they normally say is uh, you don't need to, to shake and whatever, but because uh, it's not very aerated air, air, at the moment, but we want this thing to, to work, I'm just going to put my hand on there, hopefully we won't, and just give it a little pump, oh, mm. square. Should use my other arm, we're pumping arm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you lost it, Phil. Pumping too hard. This is beer, these are two ginger people. And we're having ginger beer. Ginger beer. We have tried it. We know it's nice. Let's pretend we haven't tried it. That's good. Oh yes, it really nice. Mm. Bit of kick to it. On the throat, bit of kick with the chilli. Spice on the tongue. Um, fizz. Mm. Fizz from the um, well, there's lots of fizz fermentation. In yeah. Lots of fizz. Not, lots of taste to it, you know. Certainly this is... Uh, Quite sweet. This is one I'll certainly do again. We'll do this one again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got that, that taste. It is a proper, and I think it's something that like, the girls will enjoy doing this. My dad would like this. Yeah? Yeah, he likes the crabbies. Yeah. But it is a good, like a refreshing... Yeah. Like I wouldn't have full of crabbies or something well, like that. Well, I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't have a lot of ginger you know, beer anyway. No, I wouldn't have a session on it. Very nice, though. Mm. Well done, Dan. Good yeah. one. Good one. So a thumbs up for the ginger beer. The ginger brewers give a thumbs up for the ginger beer. Ginger brewer, thumbs up for the ginger beer. <laughs>